This is episode 121. G'day and welcome to the My Voice Notes series. This series came about because of you. So thank you. I was receiving feedback on how you enjoy the realness and rawness of my show and that you connect with my stories and experiences. So I decided to bite my fear on the bum and share with you my most personal series yet. I spend a lot of time reflecting and I usually record my thoughts in my phone, sort of like a journal, and now you will have access to that. Please leave me a five-star review on Apple Podcasts if you enjoy this series because my intention is to inspire you to break free of anything that holds you back and to know that you are not alone. All right, buckle up. Here we go. Hello and welcome to today's voice note. Today we're talking about stress and something that I call stress stacking, where you stack one type of stress on top of the other, whether that is an emotional stress, a mental stress, or a physical stress. They are all stress. And what I would love for you guys to think about this week is Are you stacking stress unconsciously? And the reason I'm bringing this up is because this is the way that I have gotten conditions, injuries, illnesses. When I think back and I reflect back, it's always because I have stacked stress (laughs) on top of stress on top of stress. And I have a very, very sensitive body. that loves to communicate stress and the good thing about having a body that communicates stress to you straight away is that you have the opportunity to do something about it right away instead of letting it fester inside your body and that is even worse so if you have are a stress stacker and you don't do anything about the stress and you leave it lingering inside your body then it will just manifest later in life into some sort of a condition or stiffness or tightness or anger or sadness, negative emotions, potentially an illness or a disease or an injury or pains and aches of some kind. Your body always keeps score. It always keeps score of everything that you go through, everything that you experience and It's really important to be mindful of the environment that your body is living in and if you may potentially be polluting that environment. So what I wanted to do today was to give you some ways to help relieve stress because, you know, we always need that reminder of what to do when we're stressed because we always believe that that's how life is and that's just I've just got to deal with it no that's a choice don't deal with it like that deal with it in better ways and some ways are one physical activity this morning I had two personal training sessions and two different women one she is in her 60s and she doesn't want to age unwell so we've been training together for many years and she is just such a superstar she's so motivating she's strong she's fit and you know even at her age she still has friends and people that comment that why are you exercising so much you're crazy and it's just like learn to normalize physical activity and praise people for doing that and use them as a role model instead. The other lady that we had today, she's in pain. Her hips ache and she is focusing her training session with me on a yoga style personal training session where we will work on opening up the hips and releasing the pain and calming her mind. And this physical activity, she's 
very, she's a mum, she's a grandma, she has her own business, she's super busy. So stacking stress on top of stress, it's so hard to say those two words, (laughs) stress stacking. So yeah, today it was just so beautiful to witness these two women taking the time out to balance out the stress that they have stacked. I forgot to mention, you know, the first lady, she also has her own business. She's a mom as well. She's a grandma and she's also always running around and doesn't sleep well. So physical exercise, guys, has to be number one on my list. Secondly, following a healthy diet. When you eat well, you feel well. When you eat shit, you feel shit. So if you are stressed, The worst thing to do is to think that you can comfort yourself with junk food because ultimately all that's going to happen is maybe overeating, binge eating, bloating, you don't feel good. So my advice here is just to eat in a way that makes you feel good afterwards, not in that moment because that's where we can get trapped. So if you minimize your intake of processed foods and beverages and eating more whole foods such as veggies, fruit, beans, fish, nuts, seeds, like a Mediterranean type of diet, it ensures that your body is properly nourished. And whenever I have had an illness, disease, condition, pain, ache, whatever it is, my eating game hasn't been good. I'm happy to admit that. And the minute that I go back to eating well, then everything feels amazing. So I'm at an age now where it just feels sort of normal now to eat healthier and to make healthier choices. This could be because of just how long I've been sort of working at it. And it wasn't like I just became a healthy eater one day. It was a gradual process over the last 20 years. So I just make one healthy choice and then I'll stuff up and then go back and make another healthy choice and then stuff up. You know that saying, fall down seven times, get up eight? That's me. (laughs) Something else to do to minimize stress is to minimize the use of technology when you can. So trying to get the phone out of your hand for many hours potentially a day, a week. How good would that be? You know, smartphones, computers, tablets, iPads, they're pretty unavoidable nowadays. And while they are necessary and they do serve a purpose, they also tend to increase people's stress levels. So one saying that I always say, whatever's causing you stress, get rid of it. And then the follow-up comment is, but Helen, what's stressing me is my family. Get rid of them, but not like chuck them in the bin, but minimize your time with family or friends that suck you dry. They take all your beautiful energy away. Minimize your time with the thing that is causing you stress or the person that is causing you stress. Just cut them off. If you can, you know, if it's unavoidable and you have to see people that you don't feel nourished by, then just do everything you can to protect yourself. So that would be point number four, (laughs) me going on a tangent, because I have found in my life that I attract, what do we call them, energy vampires, where they suck the energy out of you. But I don't blame anyone at all. It's me and the people that I'm attracting. And, you know, I delve deep into why I have attracted the people in my life that I have attracted and where it's come from. And that's why I love coaching because it's helped me see so many things to become who I am now. Something else that you can do is self-care for stress. Okay. And this is point number five that I want to share with you you know me, self-care is my jam. And so self-care can include everything that lights you up. For me, it would be a coaching program. That is one way that I look after myself. Number two, a retreat 
and doing all those beautiful activities like yoga and meditation, sound baths, quiet time, journaling, reflecting, exercising, cooking a beautiful meal, taking a bath, lighting some incense or some candles, diffusing a beautiful essential oil, getting a massage, practicing a hobby is great. Reading a really great book or listening to an audio book as you go for a walk in nature, watching a sunrise or a sunset. Man, I can just do this forever, but I have a self-care list (laughs) that I'll attach to this episode so that you can see all of the amazing practices that I love doing for self-care. I do have a mini retreat in Sydney coming up, which is uh, three and a half hours of deliciousness. For people that can't access the other retreats, I have a couple of retreats in Victoria this year, one in April and one in October. And if you just go to the website, wholehealth.com.au, feel free to come along. There's still some space in the October retreat. It's for women, that one. It's a women's wellness weekend. And I'm doing it with my beautiful friend, Jeanette, from Mountain Pilates in Victoria. And it's called the Women's Wellness Weekend. It's got so much goodness. We have a beautiful house that we've hired for the event. And then there's the number one retreat in the world, my ultimate restoration retreat. <laughs> I just say that because it's the most beautiful location in Byron Bay. I have two spots available to that. So that is a five-day retreat of ultimate restoration. I have a beautiful chef team that only cooks an Ayurvedic diet, which is my favorite diet to nourish the soul, to nourish the body. And those are the tips that I wanted to leave you with today. And I'll just have a little quick chat about Ayurveda as well. Maybe we can make this point six on the fly. Speak to a holistic practitioner like an Ayurvedic doctor or a naturopath. I always see my Ayurvedic doctor the minute I am stressed or the minute I have anything that's not balanced in my body, like when I had the autoimmune issue. And she does everything to nourish my temple, my body, my soul. And it's really good if you can have a team like that around you that you can fall back on whenever you need help because we are human, we always need help and it's a really good thing to feel comfortable to reach out and ask for help. Ayurvedic principles are just magic. It includes eating for your body type. There's amazing Ayurvedic treatments that you can do for your physical body, which will ultimately transfer to your internal health and your mindset. And they just have this beautiful way of living which I just absolutely love. And yoga is part of that and meditation. So if you haven't got these practices in your life yet and you're a stressful person, start there. You know, yeah, the first thing that I did was I've been meditating a long time unintentionally. Just as a little girl, I would just sit in silence and I think that's been my saving grace. But when I started yoga, That's when things really changed. I was in a lot of pain before I started yoga and I had a few injuries um, that were really bad and yoga is what healed my physical body but not only that, the mental, emotional, internal effects that yoga gifts you is priceless and I've been practicing yoga now for properly for the last 12 years. It's crazy and I can tell you that that has been the catalyst for my attitude (laughs) and for relieving any stressors in my life. Yeah, it's all about protecting yourself, guys. So do everything you can to protect yourself from any stressors in your life, whether that's a thing, people, work, your environment, whatever it is. And just let me know how you go with this. And if you relate to this, just come to my Instagram at Helen underscore Yuskovic and share with me your stories. I'd love to hear them. That's it for now. Bye guys. Stop stress stacking. I have realized in life that 
when I get ill, when I get sick, when I get an injury, whatever it is, it's usually because I have stacked stress on top of stress on top of stress. For example, what was the last thing I did? Oh, when I lost my eyesight, right? I was at that time looking for a space to lease to open up a business in a shop and just going around looking at places, negotiating with salespeople and doing that was stressful in itself. Second, I was unhappy in my workplace and that was causing another stress. Third, I had relatives over from the US where you know, had to take them around the country, not the country, but take them around town and host them and all of that sort of stuff, which was another stress, but one that I loved, but you know what I mean. And then I also had, I was a a maid of honor for a wedding and I was organizing the hen's party. And that was another layer of stress. And then on top of that, I was starting a side hustle with a friend, a little business on the side, and that was causing stress. And, you know, there's only so much that your body can take when it comes to stress. And that's why I wanted to do this episode today and this reflection on my voice note, because when you stress stack, your body can't cope so try to stop yourself you know it's easier said than done because I I'm a victim to this all the time I mean anytime that something has happened to me it's usually because there's been more than one stress or stacked on top of the other so have a think about you know your life and have a think about the things that might be causing a stress to your body or a stress to your mind and see if you can eliminate a few of them. Whenever I heal, one of the things that I do, the first thing that I do is I cut all of my commitments basically in half and that straight away eliminates 50% of my stress (laughs) because then I have that time to spend to heal and I just constantly remind myself that there is enough time to do everything. (laughs) I don't have to stack everything into one day. I don't have to stack everything into one week. And this is just a constant battle of mine, but I have a beautiful team around me and I have a beautiful assistant that helps me organize my calendar who ensures that I have white space in my calendar most days some days it just doesn't happen but we've figured out a way now where there will be time just to chill during the day so I just want to make sure that you guys too have white space in your day and if you don't then just do what I do and go to sleep a bit earlier so that you can wake up a bit earlier and then that way you can spend an extra hour in the morning super early and you can spend that time by yourself for yourself doing whatever it is that you want to do and just taking your sweet ass time I love that time when everyone is still asleep and I'm up it's just the best time to be alive anyway that's it for now Have a think and have a little reflection yourself on the potential of stress stacking in your life. And then maybe even think back to times where you got ill or times when you got injured and see if you had any stress stacked on top of each other. And I'd love to hear it. Just go onto my Instagram page, Helen underscore Yuskovic, and uh, let me know. Bye. Thank you times infinity for spending time with me. It really means a lot. Putting yourself first will really help escalate your goals, your dreams, and I love being on the journey with you. So make sure you come and tell me on my Instagram at whole health, which is H O L 
underscore health and comment below this podcast photo to share your thoughts on my show today. And if you enjoyed it, please leave me a five-star review on iTunes or Spotify so that I can keep bringing amazing value to you. I'm sending you truckloads of love, power, and joy. Bye for now.